chips was going to be easy for this clever monkey. <laughs> now the river had six and George had none. He didn't want to lose these again. This was the safest place for them. The Anniversary Jubilaria will now be unveiled after the band plays. That's earlier than planned. Earlier? Time was running out. Those weren't table runners. They were missing stripes. George added two stripes to the six he'd already found. So now he had eight stripes, two more to have all ten. George, I've been looking for you. <laughs> it's time for the town founding play. You're in it, remember? Let's give a warm welcome to our town founders. All George could think about was where to look for those last two stripes. This looks like a fine place to live <gasps> and farm. And let us found a town here and name it. Oh, my word! So the original name of this town was Oh, my word? George already had eight stripes. One more made nine. Now he only had to find one more stripe. Now the anniversary jubilaria will be unveiled even earlier. Right after the kite flying. Uh -huh. After the kite flying? When was the kite flying? Doo. It was now. George had no time left. Hey, George, did you see my kite? I found a great tail on the ground right in the yard. <gasps> there it was. When Allie reeled in her kite, everything would be okay. <gasps> Look, an eagle! <gasps> ah, oh, it's flying away with my tail! <laughs> it must want it for its nest. The eagles have a nest on top of Mount Neverclimb. Do you know why they called it Mount Neverclimb? Uh -uh. Because no one could ever climb it. Uh. So how could a little monkey get up there? Uh. In just a minute, we'll be unveiling the Anniversa Jubilaria. Now with 100 hard-earned stars. <laughs> 10 stripes with 10 stars makes 100 stars. Phew. Wow, everyone I've ever known is here, but not George. He's gonna miss the big 100. Oh, sorry. But we can't wait anymore. Happy 100th Anniversary! Yeah! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, George? Uh, careful. Mr. Quint wouldn't want a speck of dirt on those. <laughs> this was about the hardest George had ever worked on something no one would ever know about. George had had a great day. Still, even counting by tens? 
100 was an exhausting number. Hmm. A vacuum might pick them up. Again, maybe not. Hmm. A rug might cover his toys. Don't go! George? Uh. Huh? You'll be amazed how easily it fits right back underneath the bed. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's what George needed, and it was simple. He got plywood from the basement, so he could put his toys on it and tuck them away under his bed. <laughs> the pyramid was too tall. was perfect. How did this one move so smoothly? It rolled. Things that roll move smoothly. George found things that roll. Balls rolled right out. And hockey pucks were no better. Cars were just right. We want to do something for more than three minutes. Let's play catch. What are you doing, George? Think of that. Face it, you're no monkey. <laughs> the storm's over. <gasps> ah! He found it. The missing one. <laughs> That's the world's crankiest polar bear. Guardian of the one. <laughs> Stop him! I want the one! Stop! Stop! Give me the one! No, give it to me! I want it! It's mine! Can fearless George ever get out of this? Yes! With the aid of his loyal pterodactyl, Hansel. Well, that was certainly an unexpected twist. He returned the missing one to where it belonged. <laughs> Another mission accomplished by Fearless George, hero of heroes. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Let's play again. This time, George is a wizard trapped on the South Pole by penguins. And if we run out of time, we just roll it under the bed. Ah. Whether he was being a wizard or cleaning up toys, Fearless George was up to any challenge. <laughs> I don't understand. We look tall in the store, but short here. Hey. 
I look really wide. Huh? Ah! That's weird. I was wide over there, but I'm thin over here. Each new bend produced a different reflected image. seemed perfect to make Hundley feel taller. He'd done it! The monkey had made him taller. Hundley couldn't wait to show the doorman. Hey, Hundley. Welcome back. I was really worried about you. I seem to have forgotten my keys. Can you let me in? Absolutely. Huh. My keys were right here. Where'd they go? Huh? Huh? I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> did you find them? <laughs> it's closed. They wouldn't fall through there. Hundley, look what we've got! Hey, what's going on? The doorman lost his keys. Where could they be? Hundley could see he would just have to get those keys himself. were up there somewhere. The boxes for the new light fixtures made a great stairway. <laughs> the doorman's keys. Hundley, what are you doing down there? My keys! You really saved the day, Hundley. No kidding. There's no way a big dog like Goliath could have gotten in that itty bitty space. Hundley, watch the desk for me, will ya? Woo It's a mirror we made for you, so you'd look really tall. Uh, back when you wanted to be tall. George figured they could still use the mirror. Only now, it'd just be for fun. You can play too, Goliath. Teamwork. <laughs> there are good things about all different sizes. <laughs> and with the new mirror, changing sizes had <laughs> never been more fun. Perfect. Has anyone been touching my cow? <laughs> we were playing baseball. Oh, did you touch a fence? <laughs> hey, can we borrow your grandpa's wash tub? Sure. What you working on? Wow. That
That's the greeniestest thing I have ever, never seen. Yeah, we know. But we'll get that slimy water out fast with this. All together. One, two, three! I've worked in my whole entire life so far today. The hard work had made George thirsty, but he wasn't sure he trusted that straw. <gasps> but this time, it didn't go by itself. What was different? Ooh. George tried again from lower down, like he did before. George invented an automatic straw. Oh, you have the straw below the pitcher and gravity is pulling the lemonade out. <gasps> ah! Ooh -hoo -hoo -ah! If the straw could drain a glass, what else could it drain? Ah! Is George gonna drink the pool? George, don't drink the pool! George wasn't going to drink the pool. He was going to drain it. Ah! <gasps> it's emptying itself! We oh, did it! We did it! Yes! How fast is it emptying? I think we need a bigger straw. Yeah, like a dinosaur straw. I don't think dinosaurs use straws. Dinosaurs didn't have hands, right? Right. So how'd they drink their milk? You got a point. Mm. Yeah. All George had to do was get the end of the hose below the water level, suck the water in, and then let gravity take over. But sucking water out of a hose was a lot harder than sucking it out of a straw. <laughs> Too bad we don't have a dinosaur. A dinosaur would have that pool empty in a second. Hmm. <laughs> he was going to give it his best dinosaur try. You were below the water level and gravity pulled the water out. Ah. Mm -hmm. Hey, not bad for a city kid. <laughs> you did it, George. <laughs> Hi, guys. My hose sprung a leak. Mind if I use yours, Bill? I gotta water my plants. Hey. George had one more idea. Great way to use a siphon. Hey, there's even a word for it. Now we just have to clean the inside of the pool, fill it back up, and we'll be swimming in no time. That's all. Cannonball! <laughs> <laughs> the water was cold and clean. So with a little help from a siphon, summer went swimmingly. When George retracted the grabbers, he saw the crabs run away. And then he saw something else. Something's wrong. Hey, pizza, bring him back fast. Wait, what is it, George? Did you find it? was a 
part of Wales. You okay? Uh-huh. Ah! <laughs> he lost it. Uh, steer him after it. I can't. I lost the camera. I lost power. I, I have no control. You mean... We have to let the monkey drive the submarine. <laughs> George, you have to pilot the ship. <laughs> Use the control stick on the dash. <laughs> George figured out how to steer quickly and bumpily. <laughs> Now that he had control, George took command. Because a monkey always gets his bleeping thing. Sounds like he's getting warmer. He's chasing it. Of course, George doesn't know the meaning of give up. Or dental floss. light went out, the bleeping stopped. Hey! <laughs> oh. George, I'm afraid that means the battery died. You'll never find it in the darkness. <laughs> George was disappointed he couldn't find the gift. He went so deep, there was nothing down there at all. Nothing? There was lots down here living in the dark. And the fish were completely different from the ones he saw closer to the surface. Other lit up fish, too. They were swimming around something. The recorder. <gasps> George didn't know if they were just curious about that thing or helping him. But he couldn't have found it without the help of his glowing fish friends. was saved. <laughs> we asked the right monkey for help. <laughs> Thought you might like a copy of the last thing it recorded. <gasps> <laughs> it's always nice to have pictures of your friends. And how many friends can light themselves for a perfect picture every time? <laughs> 